First thing you'll do is go to PX Central and click on Install and Run, and click New Spec, and click down here at the PX Backup, and click Next. You'll then enter your organization name, your cluster name. This is actually going to be the name of your ProWorks cluster. Give your admin email, your admin username, and a secure password. Click Next and give some information about your environment, such as if it's on-prem or not, if it's using OpenShift, or if you want to specify a central endpoint. In this case, we're going to auto-generate it because we're not doing anything special on-prem. Next, you will specify the namespace that PX Central will run in. This is where your backup deployment will be available from. Enter the kubeconfig path, as well as a password, and um, select if you need to install monitoring from a central point for all your clusters and whether it's air-gapped. Remember to update the kubeconfig path if it isn't standard. Go ahead and click Next when you're done with this. Now you'll get a command to copy. This is basically a customized installation script that you can go ahead and bring over to your Kubernetes environment. Here we're running 117.1. .1. I'm going to paste this in from the information I placed in the generator. And this will go ahead and kick off the central install, as well as set up backup and the credentials, everything I need to get going and connecting my clusters so I can go ahead and start using PX backup. This will go through, depending on your environment, take a certain amount of time if it's pulling down images, etc. Uh, after a bit of time, it'll spit out some information where you can access your auth endpoint, as well as your PX Central UI. And you can grab that endpoint, place it in your browser, and this will take you to your PX Central endpoint. You can go ahead and click Sign In with your admin information you placed in the generator and log in. Once you're logged in, you're ready to go. You can go ahead and click Add Clusters to add a cluster and begin backing up your Kubernetes environments. I hope this has been useful. Until next time, take care.